Hey y'all, it's Chris Klest here. I'm going to demo a game I created in Excel spreadsheets using VBA. It's a simple capture the flag game that I call cat and mouse. And there's my title screen. And there's the game. You start off, you're this mouse here in this house, and you got to try to get this cheese and bring it back home without being caught by the cat. Um, so but before I play that real quick, I was just going to show you. we got a settings a screen over here as well, so you can kind of change your name and which map you start off with. i got three maps, uh, three difficulties. You can change how many extra lives that you start off with. You can change your keyboard shortcut keys, and you could turn on and off story mode and uh, character comments. So let me just go ahead and start off. So it's turn-based, so the cat's not going to move if I don't move. And pretty much I get the first move each time. All right, so I grab the cheese, you bring it back home, and you get a little character comment. Every time you do that, an extra cat will come out. And you can see on the, the left side of the screen it says cheese required, so every time I bring one of these home, that number will go down. And you could stay in place, so actually I could be using my mouse and be clicking these buttons here, up, down, left, right, stay. There's a help help button as well, just so you can see your short your keyboard shortcuts again if you needed some tips. Um, you could reset the game and it'll start you over from basically the, the default settings that you have um, set up. Oh, there, I just took a risk. I ran past the cat. See, if I ran up right now, the cat can walk into that space, so usually I'll just hit the stay button until he walks away. Um, if you step onto the cheese, you actually have protection from the cheese. <laughs> the cat can't get you right now. Um, but if I move, then the cats can start getting me again. So as long as I'm sitting here, the cats can't jump on me. But now that I moved, now the cats can get me. Unless I get, uh, let me just show you if I get, if I run into a cat, the cheese, you know, gets left behind, and I start over. I have one fewer live, and I have to try to get the cheese again from there. And I, I don't know if I've tested it, but I'm 100%, I'm almost 100% sure that if I sit on the cheese here that I have that protection again. Let's see. Yeah, see, I think I would have been hit by now. I'm really surrounded. Let's see if I can get away from these cats. Oop, good thing I didn't go down. See, that's the thing with this. It's really a game of patience. Um, you got to hit that stay button until the cats clear an area. Um, but it's also part risk and luck. Um, because you might be in a situation where you can't just wait it out because the cats will come after you. So there we go. So when you when you uh, get all the cheese that's required, um, this is like part of story mode that it, you you might have seen in the settings. Um, and it just gives you a little you know I don't know scenario or whatever. And here's level, level two is the same thing, but it's just a little bit bigger. And you start off with more cats. Um, these are all, all of these cats, they just randomly move. These are, I guess, what I call the easy rando enemy, which is basically, it's easy, which means they move one square only, and they just randomly move. It's not like they're coming after me. Um, you'll see in a little bit, you'll see the, uh, oh, I got hit there. See, so, yeah, I'm getting impatient and just kind of try to run past them. Oh, now I'm in a situation where I have to run past one. So I either go right or I go up. I'm going to go right. Oh, made a good choice there. And now I have to run up. Or I could have stayed, but I would have gotten hit there. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, when I get past, um, I don't know what we want to call this, but uh, 
all of the levels on easy mode. It'll start from the first level on medium difficulty. And you'll see that there's going to be an orange cat that can move two squares at a time. And that makes a big difference. And I'm not even sure how to calculate how big of a difference it is. I mean, it's in some ways it's like having two cats, but at the same time it might be a little bit more because two cats can't quickly jump across the screen and chase you down. If you're in front of the cats and you're running away from them, these black cats can't catch you, but that orange cat can. So it's like, but it's also moving two squares at the same time. So it's like, it's more than just two cats worth of uh, danger. <clears throat> wow. Um, <laughs> oh no, I'm kind of stuck here. Sometimes if I'm in a situation where I have to move past a cat, I'll usually try to move in the direction of where I'm trying to go. I figure if I get lucky, at least I'm one square closer. Yeah, this is so much better with these keyboard shortcuts than that I put these in. These, that was like one of the more recent developments I put in this game. Um, because if you're clicking with the mouse, it's a lot slower. You have to move that mouse around and you know, just always get that click noise of the mouse. At least my mouse always makes this click noise, so you'd have a bunch of clicky noises going all the time and the keyboard's a lot quieter than my mouse. But as you can see, I mean, I mean, it's it's not just like there's patience, right? It's definitely a patience thing. But like, for you to get through quickly, your mind has to process where the safe places are. Like right now, I can either go left or down and be safe. And you know, once you get used to, you know, where these cats can go, and also the dangers of you know what's to come where are all of these other cats at um where can they move to it's almost like it could be almost like a game of chess where uh you know you're thinking a couple steps ahead so like right now there's only one cat at that bottom row um so for me to get across i might want to go towards the bottom of the screen Yeah, just like that. Now I could just run, run free and clear. Uh, so there's another kind of story mode message. I didn't even realize I, I grabbed all the cheese that quickly. Um, oh, and it looks like it didn't uh, quite zoom in correctly, but I'll fix that. Oh, I think I know why too. Because, yeah, I know I know what happened there. I'll get that fixed. Upcoming release, which is <laughs> every day. I've been work working on this. This is uh, 20 days, pretty much. I think I might have missed like one day or something, but yeah. So this is what uh, 20 days will will get me. I don't know what 20 days of coding will get you, but I'm pretty excited and happy about it. Um, it. Uh, this kind of opens up a whole bunch of other, you know, scenarios I can create. Like I could replace all these cats with and images and mouse and house with other things. Um, this could be like some type of hero character. You know, if you looked at the code in this game, you'll actually see it a lot of times referenced as a hero. So there we go. So I just beat it on easy mode. And there's the orange cat that can, uh, you can see him, he could basically, how he jumps diagonally, that's because he went, you know, like right one square and then down one square. And if you happen to be in that path of where he goes, then you're going to get eaten. Uh, so this is medium mode. Um, on hard mode, it's pretty much the same thing, except for there's a higher frequency of those orange cats. So like right now, well, I just jumped on the cheese so that that orange cat cannot get me. Luckily, it, it would have gotten me by now. That thing, 
since it moves two squares each time, it uh, a lot of times will go one direction and right back to where it started. So can't really see it; it just moves quickly. But so now that thing's completely surrounded. Well, oh, I got lucky there. So I mean, I could just keep hitting stay until all of those cats, you know, go in one spot, and I try to get around them all. But also, who wants to just sit there and wait for the perfect situation to take place? You want to play, so you know, you got to take some chances and keep it uh, being fun. So that's part of the reason too why sometimes I'll just run past the cat and not wait it out just to you know take a risk, you know, kind of speed up speed up my progress a little bit. Um, oh, and about diagonal, when you push, if you have the keyboard shortcuts, uh, if you push like up and right at the, same, at the same time, it moves you up one square and over one square. And so that orange cat was able to move four squares. So just got to be careful if you're going to be hitting two buttons at once because that orange cat will travel in a lot of spaces in that amount of time. Um, and now I'm kind of, there we go. All right. Um, anyway, so you see, you've seen the gameplay already. You've seen the orange cats bounce around. You got these buttons here. They do the same thing as the keyboard shortcuts, which you couldn't see what I was pressing, but I showed you the help already. There's some tips down there. There's the stay button. There's the reset I haven't showed you yet. So basically, it starts you off from scratch. Um, level one, difficulty one, has your, your hero name. Um, how many extra lives you have? So that means, so I'll, that means I can get killed. Um, well, let me just do it real quick. Two, one. Yeah. So now extra lives is zero. So that's when it says three, it's actually four lives, but it's three extra, including the one that you have. So, and when you lose all those lives, you get reset back to square one, which is basically what you have here in settings. So you can type your name here. Um, starting map level, I could start at the last level on the most difficult setting. Um, I could increase the lives that I have, the extra lives. And here, like I, sh I think I showed you, you can change these uh, these keys here. It's only going to allow you to do one. So if you have, uh, yeah, so only one character at a time. So if I want to do A, you know, that works. But I like doing the... Uh, What did I do? <laughs> ah, there we go. Um, so I like I like having a set like this. I'm used to it. Um, story mode on and off. <clears throat> yep, you can turn these off, and the game's just that much faster. You don't have to click the those pop-ups each time. You know, you can just play the game as the game is without any story modes or character comments. So it goes faster that way. So we we'll just go ahead and hit refresh. A reset and so now whenever you you know die or whatever it's gonna start you off here um, let me just go back here yeah as you can see level 3 difficulty 3 extra lives 5 cheese required 1 that's just this, the setting I have for now I might change that in the future where but I figured the maps big enough there's enough cats on here how many times do you really need to walk past all of these cats you might just get really lucky and whatever you beat you beat it that much faster but And, you know, there's a lot of updates, and, and like when I was saying before, I have ideas for improving this and even turning this into, I can use this code to make a different game, which originally this was not going to be, um, oh, see that? So I just got eaten, and uh, there was no pop-up message. Um, so originally this was going to be a, a chess game, and as I was making it, I was like, man, there's a lot of pieces and things like that. It's gonna a lot of logic involved. Um, you know, the the, en the the enemy has a lot of you know complex moves that it would have to decide to make. Um, so, but as I was doing it, I was like, 
oh, well, there's something I can do a lot simpler. And it wasn't even in this. This, this captured a flag. It was actually, before this, it was um, essentially where that cheese is right here. It was just an X, and that was the exit tunnel. So you, go, you start off at the, the house, and you have to try to get to the X, and then you basically beat the level. And then when I was thinking about adding images, I'm like, well, does it really make sense to to win when you land on the cheese? Not really. You got to bring it back home. So that's kind of what you know led me to turning this into capture the flag, which you know I'm pretty excited about because I you know it just occurred to me one time as I was you know building this out and um, and you know with that. Um, you know, I've had other ideas and things like that. So now, now that I have a character that moves and I have some imagery and things like that, now it's going to be a lot more easy if I wanted to go ahead and create chess because I have all of like this base code that I can use to generate the map. Um, I could, you know, create more images for different characters and things like that. Um, so I can put in all of the chess pieces and start them off all in one particular spot and have them, you know, I would have to change up how it moves because as of now, when I move once, all of the enemies get a move. See? Um, whereas in chess, it would just be one of their pieces. Not a problem. That's actually a really easy fix. Um, I think if I went ahead with chess, um, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, there's a lot of, like I said, logic and things like that, which that's exciting. You know, it would be cool to see uh, an enemy piece move like or even my piece move up two squares and left two squares you know like the knight does and uh, so forth um, but uh, besides that even with this game I was thinking that it would be cool to have the ability to choose your character so I don't have to be a mouse I could be something else I could change like a theme doesn't have to be cat and mouse. Um, and I'm gonna I want to I wanted to improve like the story line, improve the storyboard, and make it actually a little bit more accessible. People can write their own story if they want to. Just put it in the Excel spreadsheet rather than inside the code <laughs> pane or whatever. Now look at this, I'm like getting killed on easy here. Easy mode. Oh, um, yeah, so there's lots of potential things. If you, like, right-click this, unhide. I don't remember what this was. Oh, wait, yeah. Wait, EXT. Oh, yeah. I don't know why it's called EXT. Um, but, yeah, just some things I was planning on doing to update this. Oh, yeah, um, add additional uh, field items, so, like, extra lives, uh, sewers, you know, mice, rats, and sewers, and they can basically go on one end, and then it'll, it'll appear on the other end. I thought that'd be kind of cool, kind of like a Mario Brothers thing. Add some cheat codes; that'd be kind of fun. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, so I don't think I need to go into all of this, but. Yeah, I think that's about all. Thanks for watching.